Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel you know what's ready if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new video in this video we will discuss about the primer designing for full length gene cloning or complete gene cloning and this is the method 5 in the previous for video we have described four different method to design the primer to clone a full length gene and in this video we will use batch primer 3 and this is our fifth method it is a uh, online tool to use the primer designing for different purpose but the beauty of this uh, online tool is that uh, you can use multiple genes like uh, 15 and 20 and even 500 genes you can use and then you have to design the primer but for that you can only use for qrt or rna purpose but if you want to design the primer for a full line gene cloning then you need to put the sequence of one gene at one time so how to do let's start open the google search engine or any other than right here in search batch primer 3 then you open this link that v.pw.usd.gov then it guide you another window so here is the above description about that batch primer 3 you can if you want to read so you can and it is easy and here also give some examples of how you put the sequence etc but we directly go to that primer design server so click on it so this it guide us to this window so here are the different type of uh, primer you can design like generic ssr hybridized snp and sequencing or that but we only we are going to design the primer for full engine cloning so we click the generic and then i need to copy my sequence that is my gene sequence so control all copy and then here i paste the sequence and then go to load and here is uh, my sequence size my my gene sequence size is uh, 1979 base pair so here product size i write the total gene length that is my is in my case my gene is 1979 so you can change it according to your gene that is what size of your gene is and there is a number of and i keep them as it is as default if you want to change that this is a primer size how much this is a, a melting temperature and the maximum uh, difference between forward and reverse tem melting temperature and uh, there is the gc content you can also change them or remain them as default setting and then click on pick primer as you click on that so it will give you the primer so this is a forward primer that start from um, one base pair that is atg and this is the reverse primer that start from the uh, our uh, that uh, from stop code on that this one this is the reverse complement of our reverse forward primer and these are the this is the size of that uh, primer that 23 or 24 bases and these are the temperature of uh, forward primer and the reverse primer this is not too much different and these are gc content and some other parameters so now you can copy the primer and uh, paste them in and or save them and then you and give to the company for designing and then use to clone the genes so in this way you can put one by one your sequence and you will get the primer for gene cloning but if you want to design other like qrt or other primers are like this so you have for example in this case i have 21 sequences of my gene so i select all that copy and then then here i select again that the generic and here select all paste and here i select the product size that may be my product size in a qrt or rnai if rnai so i keep 600 to 
common so 650 and maximum is up to 700 so then I click on pick primer so it give me the that uh, primer of that gene 1 and it's uh, that is a melting temperature this is pro length of the temperature this is start of the primer and uh, these are the GC contents and these are the product size and this is the primer of second uh, gene and this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I have twenty-one sequences, and it gives me the primer of twenty-one sequences in one click with a good parameters like melting and GC content and others. So, and you can design in this way primer of QRT or RNAi. But if you want to clone, uh, design the primer for full length gene cloning, then you need to put sequence one by one. So in this way, you can use batch primer three to design the full length gene cloning with primer or for RNA or for QRT. So if you have any other query about this, so you can comment. Hopefully, it will help you. Thank you.